All right, Scott here with Post Planner, and I've got another really juicy, juicy tip that I want to give to you uh, on what feature you can use with the Post Planner app that is going to help you crush it uh, on your Facebook page and help you really leverage um, not only the Post Planner app, but take advantage of the Edge Rank, which is the algorithm that determines uh, if your post even shows up. Uh, in the on, on the newsfeed of your fans or not, and if you know anything about Edge Rank, Edge Rank is always changing for one. So just know that that as of posting this, the Edge Rank could change tomorrow, and you know this may change. But the Edge Rank gives different weights based on different types of posts. Now, the thing they give the most weight to has been historically photos, followed by status updates, followed by links. Now, sometimes status updates goes a little higher. I think it depends on what's going on, if people are posting too many photos and those kind of things. So it just depends. But photos are going to have more weight on the Ed Drink than a link post where, you know, if you go into, you know, a typical, like, let me go over here and I'll show you what a, a link post, what I mean by a link post. I'm sure as soon as I hit refresh here on my Facebook timeline, I can show you one. Here is a link post, Social Media Examiner, for example. They posted a link over to an article on entrepreneur.com. This is a this is what a link post always looks like. It's a little gray box. It's got a small thumbnail. It usually gets kind of chopped off. Uh, and then it has a link right here. And then it has, all this is a link. If I click on any of this, it takes me over to the article. Now they look fine if you got a good thumbnail and all that kind of stuff. But Facebook has said that you don't get as much weight with those things. And so what I want to do is I want to post it as a photo. Now there's a really cool trick here inside the Post Planner app I want you to take notice of. So I'm going to go over to our blog. I'm going to pull up an article that was just posted by myself. Um, and then I'm going to go over here and choose the Post Planner. Make sure you choose the page or profile you're going to post to or a group, whatever it is, uh, before you start going out and plan all this or it'll mess up. So make sure you choose that. Then I choose, I want to post it as a link. So I post a link and then I put in the link URL and paste it there and click attach. And I'll wait a second. You know, it all depends on your, your speed, your, your computer and all that stuff. So here's what it would normally look like. A little box there would show us a little update, the, you know, the, the name of it, the, the, the description, which I can change. Um, and then that, that's what it has. So let's just say I want to make this a photo. So I got three photos it says to choose from. That, you know, I can pull off there. So I'm going to pull this one because I think this one shows the full image where this one's kind of just right there in your face. So I want the full image. And then right here, see this sneaky little thing here? Publish as a photo post using selected image. So I'm going to click that and you're going to notice some stuff change. Now what happens up here is this here, the title and the link are now up here. See how that happened? That now it's up here. So now that is inside the post itself. And so then from here, if you want to change this, you're going to need to edit it. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and edit it real quick, and then I'll come right back. You won't even notice I'm gone. All right, so I've changed up what I wanted written inside the, the, the status itself. I have the link right here. I like to make it where it's a little closer. Uh, and then I'm going to go plan it. So let's say I want this to post uh, in the morning at, oops, I clicked a little too fast, in the morning at, 7.30. All right, so now this is going to post on January the 8th, 2013 at 7.30 a.m. If I click plan post, if I did everything correct, it should come up and tell me what it, show me what it looks like. And it shows right here. Let me look at the full. I want to look at full instead of compact. All right, so look, there it is right here. It's a bird, it's a plane. Um, and so there is the, the photo right here, right inside that. So then you show this posting to the album, the timeline photos. I'll show you another way where you can um, you can go in and do that and show and show it a little bit different. But what it'll look like when you get done, you know, instead of it looking like this, it's going to look like this, where the photo is real big, and then you have the the post right inside of you or up in here. So you get a little bit more bang for your buck when you post photos because photos do show up better on the news feed they show you look better on the mobile device all that sort of stuff so just kind of keep that in mind when you're using this now grant like i said earlier facebook at any time can change out the algorithm and make things where they don't post the, you know, as well as using photos but as of right now that's kind of where we're at when it comes to the edge rank so use this tool and post a link as a photo to get a little bit more edge rank 
um, and bang for your buck out of your posts. Until next time, see ya.